Hey, it's Buddy Lee. Welcome to my channel. So we have level up on, and it's time to take up another skilled champion to rank 3. I have this Nick Fury duped and at rank 2, but actually in this case I'm gonna go with Karnak. I don't love playing Nick Fury with damage masteries, and with Karnak I really think he's very cool after his buff, and also benefits greatly from damage masteries, giving him solid constant regen from his poison resistance. So to test him out at rank 3, I'll first take him into Labyrinth against Red Hulk, and then afterwards I'll check out some Cavalier event quests, and finally I wanted to test some of his utility against Act 6 Iron Man Infinity War. I brought White Mags thinking that his Guidance Boost would work, but it actually doesn't do anything since Karnak is a mercenary and not a hero. So Red Hulk is really an ideal matchup for Karnak, since his SP1 is so easy to heavy counter, which lets him stack up fragility debuffs very easily and also pause his fury buffs when knocking Red Hulk down. So we get a passive fury buff for each sp2 and they are pretty strong and stack up to 5. So after a little build up and combined with the fragility debuffs, he can ramp up to a pretty crazy level of damage. We are actually critting through the block at around 8k with only one fury. That was a solid heavy for 39k damage. Check out all the damage from this heavy, then into a 5 hit combo, and then SP2. So I love the great damage as well as his playstyle, making things interesting in different matchups, learning to counter specials similar to Tigra. But I'm also still topped off on health due to the regen I'm getting from his poison resistance. Alright now let's give him a try on the Cavalier event quest. This one gives advantages to Inhumans, which Karnak is tagged, so this should be good. So basically the nodes here will power lock you if you don't place a debuff within the timer, 
so I need to either land a heavy for the fragility debuff or end a combo and a different attack to get the debuff from the node. We're getting over 11k crit through the block here. So that went well, but I need to try to keep up with the debuffs a little better. So I wanted to try to get a giant crit through the block with SP2, but I wasn't actually at two focus charges yet, so it doesn't crit, but it still does over 18k damage through the block. So against this Medusa, we can test out the true focus to get past her auto block. So that was pretty nice, we were able to keep that true focus up for a while and make her auto block fail.
Overseer gets totally wrecked and now we've gotten up to 13k through the block. We've made it to the last fight on the path and we're still at 100% health. Unfortunately, I mess up the clean run by having bad spacing on Spider 99's SP1, which sucks because it's actually a pretty easy special to punish. But we do recover from 84% health back up to 98% health by the end of the fight. Alright, the last fight for this video is going to be the Iron Man Infinity War boss from Act 6.3 and I wanted to do this fight to see how he does using true focus to bypass Iron Man Infinity War's annoying armor up debuffs since it ignores armor. So first thing I'll do here is throw a few SP2s to get some damage ramped up, and then I'll start to activate the true focus. Okay, now I'm going to throw an SP1 and get the true focus. This should let me get around Iron Man Infinity War's armor. So I didn't really proc a ton of armors after I started throwing SP1s, so my plan didn't really go perfectly, however I'd say that Karnak performed pretty well in this fight still. That's going to do it for this rank 3 Karnak showcase. If you liked the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.